Hi everybody, Scott here from Scott Help, and today I'm going to be showing you the very simple tutorial of Ice versus Fire Ice Tutorial. Here's basically how it goes. A picture of ice is placed on the table, and everything that is supposed to be over it will be masked out on separate layers above the ice. So let's begin. Drag your video into the new composition icon. Go to the point where your actor places their finger on the table. Press Ctrl Shift D to split the clip in two. Right click the top one. Go to time, freeze frame. Drag your picture of ice on top of the video. I went to Google Images and found this one. Click on the cube image to turn it into a 3D layer. Click toggle switch modes to turn the image to screen. Play around with the X, Y, and Z coordinates until your ice is on the surface. After you've done that, select your original clip and press Ctrl D to multiply it as many times as there are items that need to cover up the ice. Now rename each video to the item that is going to be masked out. Place your image of ice underneath all of these layers. Select your very top layer and mask it out. Keep in mind, I'm doing this very sloppy because it's an example. Do not be sloppy with this, it will look very bad in the end. For a better look, feather your mask. Continue to do this process with all of your layers. The last mask in this video will be done to the ice layer. Select the ice layer and mask out a very tiny portion. Feather it out by a lot, at least 50. Side note, to make a video start or stop at a certain point, go to that time and press Alt bracket. Go to the first frame of the ice clip and press T to enable opacity. On that first frame, Keyframe the opacity to zero. Move over 10 frames and set it to 100. Go back to your first frame and open up your mask properties. Keyframe all the options. Go to the point where you want the ice to stop expanding. Go to mask expansion and expand it to however large you want. Once you do this, it will automatically set a keyframe and throughout the video it will progressively get bigger. Finally, we'll add an adjustment layer to give the video a little camera shake and add a bit more realism to the effect. Press Ctrl Alt Y to add the adjustment layer. Trim the adjustment layer to fit like the layers underneath. Look up the slider control and apply the effect. Click the adjustment layer and press P to enable position. Alt click on the stopwatch and expression should appear. Click on that. Type wiggle open bracket three comma then drag the pick whip icon to the slider control. Now type close bracket semicolon. Then parent all the videos to the adjustment layer. Keyframe the slider to around two or three. Click on the adjustment layer and press S to scale up the footage to around 104%. Go to the clip that does not have the freeze frame effect. Scale it up to 104% or whatever you scale up the previous clip. Go back to around the beginning and scale it back down to 100. Playing the clip, it should look as if the video never turned into an image. Congratulations, you have now mastered the technique of cyrokinesis. Leave any questions in the comment section below, and if this video was helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.